Welcome to Learn Mechanical Engineering Pants. Today we are going to discuss the properties of fluids. In the previous lecture we have discussed about the concept of viscosity and relationship between shear stress and velocity gradient and also discussed dynamic viscosity. Now let us know the dynamic viscosities of water and air. The dynamic viscosity of water is equal to 10 raised to minus 3 newton second per meter square. The dynamic viscosity of air is equal to 0 0.0181 into 10 raised to minus 3 newton second per meter square. Please remember the dynamic viscosity of water and air as, the, as these data are helpful in solving problems. Let us discuss the kinematic viscosity. The kinematic viscosity is defined as the ratio between the dynamic viscosity of the fluid to the density of the fluid. It is denoted by the symbol nu called as nu. It is the Greek symbol. Hence, kinematic viscosity is equal to dynamic viscosity of fluid divided by density of fluid so nu is equal to dynamic viscosity is represented by this symbol and density let us derive the unit of kinematic viscosity so kinematic viscosity is not ratio of dynamic viscosity to the density of the fluid. The unit of dynamic viscosity is Newton second per meter square. The density unit is kg per meter square meter cube sorry. So this this cancels. So there is only m left right Newton second and m kg. Since Newton is the unit of force, force is nothing but mass into acceleration. So unit of mass is kg and acceleration is meter per second square. Rewrite this Newton as kg meter per second square. Kg meter second square into second into meter per kg. So this cancels, so it is left with only one of this kg, this kg cancel. So its unit is meter square per sec. So the unit of kinematic viscosity is meter square per second. This is the SI unit. Another unit of viscosity which is commonly used is stroke. So one stroke equal to 1 centimeter per square per second which is equal to 10 raised to minus 4 meter square per second so for water the kinematic viscosity is 10 raised to minus 6 meter per second for air the kinematic viscosity is 15 into 10 raised to minus 6 meter per meter square per second. So these are the kinematic viscosity of water and air and these are helpful in solving problems. Now let us discuss about Newton's law of viscosity. The Newton's law of viscosity states that the shear stress on a fluid element layer is directly proportional to the rate of shear strain means the shear stress is directly proportional to this velocity gradient this is the statement of Newton's law of viscosity this is tau is shear stress this is dynamic viscosity this is velocity gradient which is equal to the rate of shear strain as we have seen in the yeah, previous lecture that is viscosity concept the fluid which obeys this equation that is 
the fluid which obeys newton's law of viscosity is called newtonian fluid and the fluid which does not obey the newton's law of viscosity is called non newtonian fluid so friends if you like this video please share and subscribe to the channel and comment on the video below thank you